All right, we're going to try this again. All right, so this is the third video that I've had to do for Pisces. All right, so let's go ahead and get this in. All right, so let's see what's going on. I've been liking the energy that I've been getting for both reads for Pisces. It looks like Pisces is cutting ties with people that needs to be cut, setting boundaries. And it looks like moving forward, a lot of y'all have a new romantic love offer coming in like this is like the man or woman of your dream something that you've manifested some of you purposely manifested this some of y'all just you know been thinking about it not knowing that you manifested this but some of y'all have manifested something so beautiful okay and you can't self-sabotage or be afraid to take this leap of faith because something ahead is very beautiful okay very very beautiful in love all right Self-love as well. Like, I saw a lot of self-love. I see a lot of y'all taking care of yourself, putting yourself first. Um, so, it's just, I've been loving the energy that I've been seeing for Pisces. So, we're going to try this again because the other videos didn't have any sound. So, let's see what's going on. I just did a tester. And I heard the sound before I did the video. So, let's try this again. All right, so Pisces, give me a message for the Pisces, please. Let's shuffle one more time. All right, so Pisces, we got the Page of Cups here at the bottom of the deck and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, and the Hermit. All right, so it looks like there may be some communication coming in, possibly in regards to finances. We got the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Fool, Six of Cups, the Empress, Six of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so this is a whole complete different energy. All right, so... Let's jump into it. It looks like you guys are holding on to something or holding back. What's the four of pentacles here? Oh, king of pentacles. It looks like you could be saving money. Yeah, because it looks like you are... Focusing on yourself, okay? Nine of Pentacles. So you're trying to save some money. You're trying to stash some money away. You're trying to come up with some money. Why is the King of Pentacles here? You have Priestess. You guys' energy. But you know, your intuition is telling you like, okay, let me put some money away for a rainy day, okay? For some reason, you may feel like you may regret regret it if you don't okay so it's like you're preparing ahead like you're like mm, i don't really know i'm just gonna put this aside for a rainy day okay i'm just gonna put this aside because i don't really know you just your intuition is just like telling you you know let me put this aside let me put this aside now we got the fool here ten of swords there's a risk that you don't want to take there's a risk that you don't want to take. I feel like you're not about to struggle. You don't want to struggle with no man. You don't want to struggle with no woman. You just not, you're not about to struggle. So in your mind, your intuition is telling you like, let me put some something away for a rainy day. Okay. So it looks like you are discussing finances. You're discussing your finances. Because there's a risk that you like, no, I'm not about to take no risk. Why is the queen of swords here? The sun. All right. So it looks like you see a situation clearly for what it is. Okay. We got the lovers and the king of wands. It's like, yeah, there could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, um, that you are discussing this with. Or did I say Gemini? Gemini. I'm getting like you care about this person your pat you have feelings for this person like the passion is there you have love for this person but to struggle it's a no 
Okay, it's a no. So you see a situation clearly for what it is. So tell me more about the, the sun. Definitely picking up Sagittarius's energy, but and the Three of Cups. So some of y'all are like, we just better off being friends, okay? Because something that yes, yeah, see, see, you're looking at ahead. Like I said, you're being prepared for what's coming ahead. Like you want to be secure. You want to make sure that you you make your next move your best move, and you just not about to just be you know willy nilly and nothing. You're not willing to take no risk that it don't if it don't sound right. Then it's a no. Trying to balance out your finances. Make sure your finances are straight. Yeah, you you are being you're in control. You're in control. You're in control. Now we got the Queen of Wands here as the challenge. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. We got the moon and the king of swords here. Now, the moon and the king of swords is somebody who's in their thoughts. Okay, so you could be thinking of some type of idea. There's something that you're thinking about. Like, you're having a serious conversation. You want to have a serious conversation in regards to your finances. I feel like you're discussing your finances with someone. Like, you're going over... What the money look like? <laughs> Why is the six of cups here? Because there's something in your past. Yeah, the four of swords. I'm telling you, you're like, no, we're, there's not going to be a repeat. There's no repeat of what happened the last time, okay? Because you want a, you want to be emotionally satisfied. You want to be feeling good. And there's something about the past that did not sit well with you. And you like, there's not going to be a repeat. Now, we got the king of cups here and the king, the king of cups and the ten of cups. This is complete emotional fulfillment, okay? You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe this is a connection that you are in, okay? This is a connection that you could be in, but I, I feel like, you know, you're just reviewing, looking over, taking some time out to, yep, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like... There's just something from your past that you just like, I don't know. You're not sure if you, um, I feel like you're heavy in thought. You're not sure if you, if you want this relationship or how this relationship is going to go. If there isn't any balance in like, if you guys are going to work together, then it's not going to work. Now we got the Empress here in the past and the Nine of Pentacles. You like, if I got to do this by myself, let me know. Let me know. Cause let me tell you something. I've been doing just fine, six of wands, by myself, okay, taking care of me, doing what I need to do, okay, temperance, everything was just balanced out just fine, honey, just fine, so don't, don't come over here trying to shortchange, don't come over here with the games, if you can't keep this boat afloat, then move to the left, okay, <laughs> now we got the six of swords here in your future energy, all right, so it looks like you're getting over some type of conflict. So maybe you were in conflict with someone and, you know, in regards to talk about finances. But it looks like you get over it. You're trying to move past this conflict. You don't want to make it seem like, you know, like a big deal. But you are saying that you are in control. Okay. And you don't, I don't feel like you feel comfortable giving somebody else control over certain aspects there's certain aspects that you just like nah i'm not going to give that that nobody a part of that that's something that i want to be in control of tell me more about this five of wands three of pentacles yeah it looks like you work on some type of issue with someone and y'all move past it the love is there for sure for sure there's a mutual love all right so talking to dealing with this person here that you're dealing with let's go over to their energy they're in a page of pentacles. This person may, finances may not be as good as yours. Now we got the page of pentacles and the king of wands. Could be a fire sign. This person feels overwhelmed. They could possibly be in debt. Okay. 
Um, and there is just like a lot of back and forth. It's like sometimes they move quick. Sometimes they slow down. They come in with an offer. But, you know, sometimes it's just like, you know, do I really want to accept this offer? This person going through all of this. This person that you're dealing with, they're going through some things. They're going through some things. Tell me more about this King of Wands. They're going to be communicating with you. We got the Ace of Pentacles. They want to see. They're spying on you. They're looking to see how you're doing. If you're doing better than them. Like, they're wanting to see if you need them in some way, shape, or form. But they don't need to be seeing if you need them. Because they need to be worrying about their own finances. Over here with this little page going on. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yep, Knight of Cups. They could be asking you, like, do you need anything? And hoping that you say no. Hoping that you say no. But they're doing this to try to get back in. And you like, look, it ain't no pressure. I'm getting you not really responding too much. It's like it ain't no pressure. Like, you don't got no problem with this person. But you just, like, you know, you just be on some, I got me. You need to get you. Because at any given time, like, I'm, I'm... I'm straight. I've set myself up for success. But this person over here, they're in drowning in debt. They have a lot going on. But still, they over here trying to keep up with you. Why is the three of wands here? I'm getting like you wish you would have waited. I see a struggle. You, I feel like you, you see that this person may be going through some type of struggle. So maybe you wishing that you would have waited to answer this person's phone calls. Maybe you wish you would have waited to respond back to this person. Um, but nonetheless, I feel like this is your energy. The Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're focused on yourself. And however you want to be friends or... Be around this person because this person is still reaching out to you. I see a lot of communication from this person. Like this person reaching out to you, communicating with you. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Emperor. Somebody wants control. Somebody's trying to have control, or this is you trying to stay in control. Tell me more about the emperor. This could be a baby father. Two of pentacles. Oh, some of y'all could be juggling. Could be juggling. This person could be worried about who you're juggling. I think this is somebody that's worried about if you have someone else. Oh, that's exactly what this is. It could be a, definitely be a Sagittarius. Now, we got the Knight of Wands and the Temperance. This situation is an on-again, off-again situation. It was something that's supposed to possibly be just something, you know, mutual or something that was just supposed to be really light that somebody can't let go of. But it looks like we got Temperance and the Ace of Pentacles, Sagittarius' energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um... Maybe this person um, could be could have you know helped you in a certain few different situations, or you've helped this person balance out their finances, or they've helped you balance out your finances before. But I definitely do see that a tower moment has happened. Okay, so the situation looks like it's been put on hold because a tower moment happened and it looks like there could have possibly been a third party or somebody got hurt um, and is. Um, still hurting in the situation and somebody else got over it. So it looks like this person is hurting in the situation and you got over it. This is your focus. Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Your focus is on stability. This person is over here still hurt, still drowning in debt, still worried about if who you're dealing with, what you got going on. When And that's fine on you. And gossiping. There's gossiping going on as well too. There's some gossiping going on. Um, they mad because you you walked away from the connection. This is it. Eight of cups and a ten of cups. They mad. You made this person feel like shh. You made this person feel like they didn't matter. And this is why they're upset. Okay. Now this co coincides a little bit with, with the reading that I had out for Pisces initially. 
some of y'all walked away from somebody. And it was the best thing because you didn't want to take any more risk with this person. Um, you started to see things clearly. See people, someone, this person's true colors. Um, and it looks like you're solely focused on yourself. Like, this, once you saw this person's true colors, it's like, yeah, I just need to focus on myself. I just need to focus on me because you got a lot going on. And you need to work on you before you come over here trying to deal with me. Okay. All right, Pisces. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Check out the description box if you're interested in booking a personal reading, as well as if you're interested in ordering something from my website. All right. Until next time, guys. Ciao for now.